Buffer Shuffler is a premium audio effect that comes with Max for Live. It reads incoming audio into a buffer, divides the audio into chunks, and then plays the chunks back in a random or user-determined order. To understand what Buffer Shuffler is doing, let's first launch the clip in this set and listen to it in action. The clip is one bar long, and the first time through, you hear it unprocessed. Each subsequent loop, however, is chopped up and reordered by Buffer Shuffler, according to the pattern shown on the left and right channel shuffling grids. These grids represent a single bar of music, with time represented horizontally, and each chunk of the bar represented vertically. The number of chunks in the grid is determined by the number of steps slider. In this example, the slider is set to 8, which means the bar is divided into eighth notes. Click within the grid to change which buffered eighth note plays at which time. For example, to play only the first eighth note eight times, draw this pattern. Notice that drawing in one of the grids duplicates the pattern onto the other grid. This is because the dupe button is enabled. To unlink the two grids and allow independent shuffling of the left and right channels, disable dupe. In addition to manual editing of the shuffling grids, Buffer Shuffler provides edit buttons above the grids that allow you to adjust all steps at once. Reset returns the shuffling grid to its default state, allowing each step to play the chunk that was originally at that playback position. Randomize scrambles the playback positions for all of the chunks. The directional arrows rotate the playback steps in one of four directions. These are useful if, for example, you like the sound of a particular grid pattern, but would like it to occur at a different position in the bar. You can randomize the grid at the beginning of every bar by enabling the Auto Dice button. Note that with Dupe enabled, the grid editing buttons for either grid apply to the other grid as well. Disabling Dupe allows for independent editing of each grid. Dupe also determines the behavior of the Auto Dice button. When you repeated the first eighth note, you may have noticed that the repetition wasn't exact. This is because the third from the last eighth note was set to play backwards. Buffer Shuffler allows you to adjust the playback direction for each step. The directional toggles are underneath the shuffling grids. Each step can be set to forward, backward, or off. The three buttons to the right of the directional toggles adjust all directions at once. Reset sets all steps to play forward. Randomize randomly sets each step to forward, backward, or off. Dice randomizes the directions at the beginning of every bar. As with the grid editing buttons, enabling dupe will apply the same directional randomization to both the left and right shuffling grids. Press the Edit Mode button to toggle between Steps and Constraints Editing. In Constraints Mode, any deselected grid locations will be unavailable for manual or randomized editing in Steps Mode. For example, let's force Buffer Shuffler to play the original audio for the first three beats, and then allow all available chunks for the last beat. Now switch back to Steps Mode and press Randomize a few times. You'll notice that only the last two grid steps are affected. As with Steps Mode, all Constraints Mode functions are dependent on the setting of Dupe. You've now learned a bit about Buffer Shuffler. Here's some info about the remaining parameters and some ideas for further exploration. All of our examples so far have used 8 steps per measure. Try adjusting the number of steps slider to see how additional grid sizes work for your material. Try adjusting the smoothing slider, which adjusts the amount of crossfading between buffered chunks. Try adjusting the dry wet sliders to balance the original signal with the shuffled audio. Disable Link to allow independent dry wet amounts for the left and right channels. Because this device was made with Max for Live, all of the tools that were used to build it are available to you. To get inside the device, click the Edit button in the device's title bar to open the Max Editor. From here, you can modify and change Buffer Shuffler in any way you can imagine.